Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'd like to show you how to install an exhaust extension hose on an iGen 2500 in under three minutes. Um, Hondas, you can put exhaust extension on those and they have extensions for other generators, but those usually have to be welded on and you have to have a MIG welder or TIG welder to be able to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on an iGen 2500, like I said, in under, um, under three minutes and it doesn't take any special tools. A screwdriver is really all you need. Well, hang tight and we'll get started. So here's the Westinghouse iGen 2500 and I'm just going to take the six screws off that back panel. Basically that's just a plastic vent cover. The, it's got louvers for air to come in and uh, keep things cool as well as the exhaust coming out of it. And we just uh, take those six screws out. And when I told you that you could do this in under three minutes, I should let you know that you do need a, uh, a cordless screwdriver to be able to do it in under three minutes. But even with a regular screwdriver, it wouldn't take that long. But uh, you get the six screws out, the plate pops off. Um, and there is a little rubber uh, grommet that goes into the back of that motor. So you wanna make sure that that sits in there. It sits up against that back plate. And then on the exhaust, there's a little clamp, and that little clamp has a, a, a Phillips screw on it. So you just loosen that screw up. It's, what it is is it's holding a, uh, a screen over the outside of that exhaust to keep bugs out of it, and I believe it's also a spark arrester. But you just loosen that clamp, and you slide the clamp off. And I would hang on to that clamp, so in the future, if you want to put it back on, you'll have it. Um, but... I'm going to be putting this uh, hose on, and there's a hose clamp on it. I get it up all the way over that uh, spark arrester screen, and then I tighten it up with my uh, battery-powered screwdriver, cordless screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a little needs a little bit more. After I get that on there, then I uh, just slide the hose through the, that back panel slide the back panel all the way up and there's a couple clips on the bottom it sits in and then uh, those six screws hold it up there so I'll have to replace those six screws. Um, I've ha I also have a Honda 1000, a EU 1000i which is a very quiet generator. It just wasn't strong enough for what I needed it for so I um, got this one and the noise level on it is actually is quiet or quieter uh, depending on whether it's in eco mode or uh, with eco mode off. Um, it seems like the Honda in eco mode is a tiny bit quieter and it's only a thousand peak with 800 continuous and this is uh, 2000 continuous with 2500 peak. Now I'm going to give it a shot. I just put the choke on, I pull it, cranks right up, turn the choke off, and I think I was checking to see if the eco mode was on, and I uh, just wanted to feel the silicone to see how hot it's getting, and make sure that air is coming out the end. It is. That's a little warm there, and of course it's going to get hotter as the time goes but it that silicone is heat uh, heat proof you can actually run that uh, outside I'm putting this in my shed and then I'm gonna run this hose out uh, outside and I have a follow-up video that I'll show you how to do that um, actually run it outside and I have a little vent plug that I put in the end of it so if you subscribe to my channel then you'll um, and click the bell icon of course you're going to be able to know when I put that other video out but I'm going to show how I do that but that's it well I'd like to thank you for watching hope that was informational to you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that click the bell icon and every time I come out with a new video you'll be notified I want to thank you again you have a great day